was like pandemonium. Everybody was running down the street. And when I got to the corner right here, the police had grabbed somebody right there on the corner. Brian Jefferson lives near Mervo High School and was outside walking his dog as kids were getting dismissed. That's when he saw the chaos begin. I thought they were just running to see somebody fighting, but that wasn't the case at all. According to police, a high school student from a different school in Baltimore City approached the victim in the Mervo High School yard as the victim was leaving classes. That led to some kind of heated encounter between the two before the suspect pulled out a gun and fired several shots at the victim. School police, who were there in the yard, then chased the suspect and arrested that person nearby. They also found the weapon they believe was used. This is an extremely tragic situation, beyond tragic. This is a tragedy that almost has me at a loss for words. Mayor Brandon Scott was already scheduled to visit Mervo around the time the shooting happened. Standing just a few blocks away from his alma mater, he said the community needs to step up and get more involved in the lives of young people. When we uh, do not have enough of us uh, being dedicated to making sure that these young men know how to resolve their conflict in a different way, get up, get out there, get involved, get off your ass and get involved with these young people because we can't keep seeing this over and over and over again. Jefferson also attended Mervo, and he's a parent. He hopes that scenes like this don't ever happen again. It's hurtful. Like, uh, I, I don't understand. And that was Kyrie Stewart reporting for us tonight. The school is providing grief counselors and support to students when they come back from the holiday weekend on Tuesday.